Hi, and welcome to this video. Now, it's been a while since I've produced a video, and I must admit that I'm having a bit of a hard time getting into the whole video production mindset. So what I'm going to do to sort of give me a little push is to produce a very short, a little quickie video today and follow that up with a short joke at the end. And the subject for today's video, well, is going to be something I received a few questions about that leave me quite perplexed, and that is sharpening a file. And now, if we're going to do this demonstration, we're going to need some equipment. And for all, we're going to start with a fair-sized bucket. And we're also going to need a can of your favorite soft drink. Now, any soft drink will do. I prefer Coke, but really, as long as it's a fizzy soft drink, it'll be fine. And, well, obviously, we're going to need a file that needs sharpening. So, let's take a little closer look at this file. Now, if I look at this small half-round file, I note that there's a shine to the surface that indicates that the teeth are rounded over, and that when I rub my finger on it, in either direction, well, I get about that same feeling of something that is not trying to bite into my skin. This is definitely a dead file. If we come in even closer here, you'll see that the file at the top of the image here is nice and crisp and sharp because it is matte and dull in appearance. And the file at the bottom of the image, or the picture here, well, you can see it has quite a lot of shine to it. And that shine is a clear indication that this file has dulled and rounded off teeth. So a matte file looks sharp, and a shiny file looks dull. Okay, so we know that we have a dull file on our hands. Well, what do we want to do? Well, first step is obviously going to be removing the handle from the file. And for that, I like to use my bench vise. Open just a little wider than the thickness of my file, but not quite as wide as the fairing on the end of the handle. And just a small tap is all that's required. Step two, well, is putting the worn file into the bucket. Step three will be opening your can of coke and taking a big gulp. Why? Well, because we're working pretty hard. Step four, we're going to put the bucket on the ground because it is a waste can now. Step five, I'm going to go get a new file out of my tool chest, install the old handle on the new file, and voila, my file is sharpened. Well, I hope that wasn't too much of a letdown, but the basic lesson is a good one. You cannot sharpen a dead file. If the teeth are damaged or rounded over, well, it's just not possible. It's good for the scrap bin. But there are reasons why a file doesn't cut properly, and we can break them down into four basic reasons. And the first one, well, is what we've just seen. The file is worn out, and that, well, we can't do anything about except changing the file. Secondly, you have a fouled file. Now, a fouled file would be a file that has medical particles encrusted into it. Now, they can be lightly encrusted, or they can be almost welded into position. Uh, now, a fouled file can be cleaned, and obviously, if you defoul your file, well, it will cut a lot better. And I think with the questions that I've received, uh, that was where a lot of the confusion uh, came from. Uh, people were confusing a defouling a file with um, uh, sharpening a file. Now, uh, you've probably heard of a certain liquids that you can use for defouling gun barrels. Well, you can use that type of thing also with files. But generally speaking, 
a fouled file can be cleaned mechanically with a file card, okay? So just brushing lightly or not so lightly your file with a file card and if you're hard up, well, a wire brush can also work. Not quite as well though. Uh, and again, if you want to go the chemical route, well, I'll leave that up to you. I'm not going to recommend anything because there's certain dangers that go along with that chemical route. The second thing that can impede a file's capacity to cut properly, well, would be a file that is dirty. Mostly greases and or oils. Uh, or, or dirt mixed in with all of that, even worse. Now, a file is made to cut dry, so obviously if it is dirty, not foul, but dirty or oily, well, it just won't work properly. So, any type of industrial or general purpose degreaser can help, uh, along with a light brushing with your file card, and that should take care of that, and as long as the file is not rounded off or worn out, it will improve how the file cuts. And, uh, well, the fourth reason why a file wouldn't cut properly was well, probably the most common one, and that is that it's not being used properly. Now, there's file selection, tooth geometry, there's file shape, size, and there's filing techniques. All this affects how a file is going to cut and it's something that needs to be worked at and learned. So this is a little quickie. I have a 36 minute video that introduces the basic notions about files and filing and if you go on my website it's all free don't worry that lazymachinist.com you go over to the second page and scroll down to lesson 5 which is lesson 5 bench work and you go to lesson 5 part 2, well you'll have that video that's all about uh, files and filing and how to go about it properly and how to select the proper file for a given job. Now for me today, for files, well that pretty well sews the subject up, but I did promise a little joke. So, a guy's heading off to work one morning, stops at the drive through and notices that the young woman at the drive through window has quite beautiful long red hair. And he thinks to himself, wouldn't it be nice if my wife had nice hair like that? So, he carries on, gets to work, crosses the receptionist at the front desk, says hi, and notices that she has absolutely beautiful, sharp, crisp, blue eyes. And he thinks to himself, wouldn't it be nice if my wife had eyes like that? Later on that day, he goes to the cafeteria for lunch and notices that the cafeteria lady, well, is quite attractive and has nice long legs. And he thinks to himself, wouldn't it be nice if my wife had legs like that? And so on and so forth throughout the day. When he gets home in the evening, his wife had arrived just a few minutes before. He looks lovingly at his wife and says, You know, honey, I've been thinking about you all day.